Hello, in this short video we're going to look at the competitive firm and taxes. We're going to see what happens if a competitive firm is hit with a per unit tax. We're going to compare and contrast two cases. We're going to look at the case where there are no taxes first and then the case where there is a $10 per unit tax. Let's start with the no tax case. So here's our setup. This firm is a price taker, takes a going market price as a given. So the firm sells its product at $100. That's where the market demand and market supply curve intersect. This firm has a cost structure given by this TC equation, total cost. So let's maximize profits. Competitive firms maximize profits where price equals marginal cost. We got the left hand side. The left hand side is $100. Let's solve for marginal cost. I'm going to take the derivative of the total cost equation with respect to the competitive firm's output, Q. I'm going to get 5 plus Q. Okay, so we bring down to 2 in front here, taking our derivative. 2 times 1 half just becomes 1, and then we're left with Q. So setting price $100 equal to marginal cost, this competitive firm would produce 95 units of output. It would earn a profit, in this case of total revenue minus total cost, so the total revenue would be the price times quantity, 95, and then we're going to subtract out total cost. We're going to evaluate the firm's total cost equation at the profit maximizing output level of 95 units. 30 plus 5 times 95 and then plus 1 half 95 squared and this will equal 4,482 dollars and 50 cents. Alright now let's go to the case where this firm is hit with a $10 per unit tax Maybe the local government wants to raise taxes, uh, so it's going to place a tax on this competitive firm of $10 per unit. So in this case, the firm's total cost structure with the tax is going to look a little bit different. So this is a total cost without the tax, but with the tax, now every time the firm produces an additional unit of output, it's got to pay $10. So we're going to add this 10 plus Q into the total cost equation. This will simplify down to 30 plus 15 times Q plus 1 half Q squared. Now as before, we're going to maximize profits where price equals marginal cost. It'll just be the case that our marginal cost is slightly different because we've got this $10 per unit tax. So getting marginal cost, once again we take the derivative of the total cost equation. So the derivative of 30 plus 15 times Q plus 1 half Q squared will just equal 15 plus Q. And you'll notice here that the difference between the marginal cost with and without the tax is that $10. 5 plus Q, this is 15 plus Q. So setting $100, the price equal to 15 plus Q. This competitive firm will now only produce 85 units of output, 100 minus 15. The competitive firm's profit now in the face of taxes is going to be the price times the quantity so we do that to get total revenue and then once again we're going to subtract out total cost so I'm just evaluating our new total cost equation at 85 units of output and this will simplify down to 
$3,582.50. Okay, uh, so that's what we do when we want to analyze taxes on a competitive firm.